this place. It's where we live. We can project ourselves without anyone bothering us. Um, I noticed that the dialogue moves really fast. Wow, automatic scroll. I think I can turn that off. So you can also adjust the dialogue size, the text size. So that's very nice. Also gonna save it here real quick. I know we just started, but I just want to, just in case, okay. The neighborhood is very different from where I live. So yes, now it's not auto scrolling, so that's even better because I don't like it when the text goes on its own. It was a little bit too fast for me actually. So this is much better, but I like it. Belleville is very lively. How do you get the apartments? It belongs to Nathan's parents. It's been years since the building was supposed to be torn down. In the meantime, we squat. I don't know if you should be proud of that, but okay. Why am I here, Heloise? We need your help. It's Morgan. He hasn't been up and about for six days. Okay, this is bad. Does he wake up sometimes? Just enough for me to feed him. Then he drifts away again. Ah, this must be why it's called the Dreamwalkers. I try. I try to comfort him. But he just stares at me. I don't even know if he recognizes me. That must be difficult. You love him. Oh, does she have a crush on him or something? Is it that obvious? So we have some options here. Reassure, tease, or hope. Uh, let's go with hope. Don't worry, we'll bring him back. We must. Okay, so maybe we're gonna be like going into dreams or something. What do you plan to do? There are only two options. I go in there or he comes to me. It sounds dangerous if you ask me. He forbade us to enter his dreams. We tried once, but he sealed himself off from us. Yeah, it does sound pretty dangerous. He didn't forbid it to me. Maybe he didn't want to hurt Heloise. I don't know. That's true. Their smiles are kind of freaky. <laughs> Is it just me? So tell me, why did he lock himself in his dream? To protect us. From what? He turned his mind into a prison to keep it from harming us. What is it? Something dark that was once buried. Something that has been unleashed and shouldn't have been. You know this thing? Look at their faces. Like, what? The faces look so strange. Okay. Like, someone's just, like, done a really bad fart or something. <laughs> Literally, she looks disgusted. Uh, let's comfort, I guess. Morgan's been courageous. Now it's our turn to be the knights in shining armor. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we have to wake him up. You mean the both of us? A familiar face will appease him. It'll help me reach him. He doesn't want me there. Well, uh, insist. Please, Heloise, he needs you. I'll try, but I'm not sure it's a good idea. Don't worry, we'll stay together all the way. Okay, I retrieve one of the vials of one Eros in my pocket. I don't know what that is, but okay. Something dark that was once buried, she said. Did they stir up something out there? Who knows? Who knows? I can feel my heart racing in my chest. I need to do this. I need to know what hunts the dreamwalkers. I have two choices. The first one is plunging into Morgan's dreams. I'll discover a lot about him and it'll give me more clues, but I'd have less control and it could get messy. Uh, okay, the second choice is to summon him into my dream. It would be safer, but I will have less access to his unconscious. Will I learn enough to help him? Oh, decisions. Time to decide. That is a difficult choice. I want to learn more information, but at the same time, um, I want them to be safe. Now, nah, let's live on the wild side. We're going into his dream. Let's do it. I approach Morgan. I gently open his left eye and lets a drop of whatever that is fall onto his iris, okay? His pupil dilates immediately as the blue liquid sinks in and colours his eyes. Okay, we go into Morgan's psych together. This thing draws on his pains. Understanding them might give us an edge. Are you ready? She nods briskly. I raise the vial to my eye and Heloise does the same. The drop falls in and my sight blurs as the world goes blue. See you on the other side. Oh, I wonder what this is going to be like. Oh my god, there's a chicken with swords in him. Okay, when I open my eyes again, a blasted wasteland stands before me. How interesting, okay. We're standing on the slopes of a collapsed megalopolis. His mind is a war zone. 
it's much worse than before. I don't think we're alone here. Yeah, we have some crazy lady over here. A spectral queen wanders the battlefield in her ragged dress. Her alabaster skin is spiked with protruding weapons. Okay, what's this thing? A bird-headed giant dressed as a man skulks in the ruins. Its thin and wounded silhouette roams through the toppled columns like a hulking puppet. Damn, okay, and we have a giant key. Can I look at can I look at anything else in the background here? No, I don't think so. Let's continue over this way then. What have we got here? Some weird demon thing. Okay. Heloise almost shrieks as she sees it. The beast! Its skin is dull and black as charcoal, and its face is hidden behind a milky porcelain mask with familiar features. My face! It wears my face! Oh yeah, I guess a little. That's a little creepy. The creature withdraws in the shadows and vanishes from sight. Okay then. Smoke rises up and mingles with the menacing clouds as they roar in the distance. With the winds come muffled echoes, wails, like the cries of a child. Okay, what's that? Oh, the statues. They are dressed exactly like the giants. Their faces. It's his parents. They've just divorced. It might be the key we need. So those are his parents. Wait, why is one a bird? <laughs> I don't know. How did she know that was his parents? I mean, maybe she maybe she could see the face on the mum, but how would you ch tell from that bird thing? I have no clue. There's something in the background. It's kind of like pulsating back there. Interesting. This is a weird world, but okay. Oh my god, look at him. He looks like he's seen better days. A young boy cuddles himself, weeping. As we approach, he starts to look towards us. The facial expressions. <laughs> his eyes are black and oily, and his pupils a vibrant and nauseating red. Oh gosh, okay, it's him. How dare you bring her here? Is that Morgan? Oh god, I know who you are, but I don't want you here. Especially you, Hilo. I'm sorry, Morgan. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to help. I knew I shouldn't have come. Heloise starts to sob, tears rolling down her cheeks, and disappears suddenly. Um, where, where did she go? Uh, be calm. This shadow is calling forth all of your traumas. Your parents' divorce and the pain you must feel. Everything. You are at its mercy. You don't understand. You think I'm powerless, that I'm the prey, but I am not the one being hunted. You're not? I am the hunter. What? Say what? <laughs> I mean, it was an interesting concept going into people's dreams and stuff. I like that idea. I'm unsure about this one. It was okay. Have you also tried this game out? I would love to hear your thoughts on this game. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate that. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. It's only $1 a month to gain access and I'm currently uploading exclusive anime review videos only on Patreon. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time.